Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to start off on freshly washed hair and I'm going to add the Cantu leave-in conditioner argan oil into my hair. Once I've done that, I like to add the Cantu coconut curling cream and I like to use this as a regular moisturizer anyway so I thought this would be a good idea to use it for this as well. Before I add the moisturizer, I like to add a few drops of the Shea Moisture Castor Oil to the moisturizer and I find that um, it's super easy to do just a few drops goes a long way and then I put it in the section and I put it generously through the strands I like to finger comb it through just to make sure that all the strands are getting the product next I'll be applying the gel to my hair I am using a gel that I've had for quite some time now I do know that it's alcohol free and it's paraben free um, there's not really a particular gel that I would recommend just because of the fact that I don't use gel that much on my hair, so I'm not really an expert on gel. I do know that it should be alcohol-free. So what I've done is I've made a smaller section of the section that I've already had, and I am going to apply the gel onto the hair. The reason why I chose to do a smaller section is because I know my hair is curly, and sometimes I could miss spots or sections if it's too big. So right now I'm just finger combing it through from root to end. I think it's important to do this because from doing the research that I've done before doing this video, um, if you don't apply enough gel to the roots, it will be a little bit puffy. So moving on, I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps in the other section of my hair, I guess part two, if you would like to call it that. And I'm doing the same exact thing, I'm gonna apply the gel to my hair and then I'm just going to finger comb it through making sure that I don't miss any spots and that I'm actually coating the strands of the hair because I just I want it to look good so I think it's important that I take my time with this this is not something that I want to rush even though it can feel like a forever process I use the praying hands method I also do a little bit of finger combing through just to make sure that the product gets to my hair. I'm also putting it a little bit on the ends just to make sure that it curls the way I want it to curl. Not that I had a particular vision about how I wanted this to look, but I did want to make sure that I evenly coated the section with the gel as well as the leave-in conditioner. So this is the finished product. Um, currently it's drying right now, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a little bit more or actually maybe a lot more shrinkage um, when it comes to my hair. And I just wanted to like zoom in so you can kind of see how it's looking. Um, I was a little worried at first because when I was putting the product on, um, there was a lot of like white specks in my hair because of the fact that I'm using this leave-in conditioner and this 
moisturizer, but it seems to all be dry and clear. So um, I'm not that worried anymore. What I am curious is, will there be any crunching? Um, you know, hopefully, um, hopefully it won't be super dry. Oh, that'd be annoying. So stay tuned and I'll let you know how that goes in a few hours. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, my hair is pretty dry. And um, as you can see, the shrinkage is super real. So what I'm going to do, because not all hope is lost, is I am going to do the banding. That's what I think it's called. The banding method where I'm going to um, basically like band them into four sections. And then that will help to stretch out some of the curls. Well, not the curls, but the hair. Because right now, the, the shrinkage is real. And I'm going to sleep with it overnight. So what I'm going to do... I don't think the part needs to be perfect. But what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take... So I have like a bunch of these because I like to wear my hair. So I have a bunch of these, so I like to wear my hair... Um, like pushbacks. And I use it as like a hair... A hair tie or a good so what I'm gonna do I bought these at the dollar store So it's now eight hours ish later and basically a full night. So this is how it is looking. And let's start to take this out and see how it looks. I'm scared because like I said, I haven't done a wash and go in like forever because I don't know how the results are going to turn out and
guys, welcome back. You've made it to the end of this video and I appreciate you so much. So this is the end resu result, I cannot talk, of my wash and go. And I'm like pleasantly surprised, but at the same time, like intrigued. And what I say by intrigued is that this is a result of using the Cantu line and some black castor oil with some gel, right? I would be interested in maybe trying another combination of products to see what type of result, results I would get with that. As far as doing this consistently, I don't necessarily think that I'm going to do it consistently just because there's so many different steps, right? So if I don't want shrinkage, I have to band it at night. And there's so much shrinkage, so much shrinkage, that I don't necessarily know if this is if this is the best idea for me. Now, I will say this, if I want volume and I want it quick, because not every twist out or braid out is gonna give you the volume, at least this type of volume. So I would definitely consider doing this again, especially on days where I just feel like I'm just lazy and I don't want to twist or braid my hair. So I'm, I'm open to the idea of doing this again. Am I gonna do it consistently? Probably not, just because of the length of time that it takes to do something like this. And in retrospect, looking back on it, it doesn't really take that much time. I think it's more so the amount of products and using the gel. I think that I would be, I would love to try a wash and go without gel, but I don't necessarily know how that will hold. And if you guys have any suggestions on that, please let me know because I'm, I would be very, very open to the idea of trying a wash and go without gel. But these are the results. I like it, but I'm still like, hmm, you know, just because I'm not used to my hair looking like this. And, and maybe it just needs to grow on me, but I'm not mad at it. Like, it, it, looks, it looks good. Like, I can't sit here in front like my hair is looking terrible. When I first took it out, I was worried. I'm not going to lie. I was worried because I was like, what is happening? When I was taking the bands out, I was like, what is happening? This is not what I signed up for. I was hoping for better results. But... As I start to fluff it up and manipulate it, it actually came out good. So thank you guys for watching.